Hi everyone, Ed here from Tech Talk. Today I want to show you another way to format your USB when the FAT32 option is missing. The program is called AOMI Partition Assistant and it's free and it's easy to use. Stick around and I'll show you how to download, install, and how to use it. The first thing I need you to do is copy the link I provided in the description below, then open a browser and paste the link. I'm going to use Google Chrome. Once the application is open, you'll notice they're offering a 2021 sale. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and jump on it. So scroll down till you see Download Freeware. And then you're going to scroll down again until you see Download Freeware. Then you're going to enter your email address. Click Download Now. I'm going to have to maximize so that I can see the um, download. Once the download is complete, I'm going to go ahead and click the, uh, the Open button. Right. I'm clicking open and then you're going to be asked to accept the user account control change and grant permission. So now I'm going to close and now you'll go ahead and select your language. Click OK and then just go ahead and skip this. Accept the agreement. Install now. So this is going to, um, this application is going, might be a little bit different for each person, uh, depending on whether or not you have your drive formatted or if it's just all unallocated. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck, join the user experience improvement program. And we're going to click enjoy now. So now it's going to open and you should have your USB plugged in. If you don't go ahead and plug it in now. Um, if you're using a laptop or anything, go ahead and plug it in because it's going to request that you plug plug in your device. So as you can see here, mine is showing unallocated. Now I kind of did that on purpose just so if somebody happened to, to have an un unallocated um, drive and you're running into this option where you open up your PC and the only drive is shown is your C and your new drive is not showing. Now you could go into um, computer management and in computer management you could go under disk management and you could um, for example it'll be there you could right click and you could create new simple volume and then click next and then click next and the problem is is that you're only going to get the NTFS um, file type if you're here you're obviously looking to convert this to FAT32 so I'm going to hit cancel on this I'm not going to complete that task I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to the um, AOMI partition software and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create partition and in here it's going to give you the option to it's going to give you the option to change from NTFS to FAT32 so just for the sake of of doing it. I'm going to I'm going to actually select NTFS just for those users that are coming here with an NTFS folder. Um, so now I'm going to have to apply the change. It's showing NTFS right here. But now I need to go up here and I'll minimize this a little bit just to make sure that it's in the screen. So now I'm going to have to hit apply. And then this is going to pop up. I'm going to hit proceed and I'm going to click yes.
I'm going to click OK. And now, if I maximize this again, I should see an NTFS file system. So what if we did not want to have this? We want to turn this into FAT32. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and format partition. And we're going to go FAT32. And then we're going to click OK. Now it changed once again to FAT32, but again, we need to go up to the top and we need to hit apply. And then we need to hit proceed. So those are the two primary ways that you're going to see your, your hard drive in here. Um, if you have a situation where you are seeing multiple um, partitions like you do up here um, leave me leave me a comment in the description below or leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to address any concerns that you have um, but that's about it so you should now be able to just load your music or whatever you're planning on doing with this uh, this drive you should be all set and hopefully this was helpful to most of you Happy New Year and thank you for watching.